YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're talking about the beautiful, beautiful intro music for the beautiful Miss Lizzo. Cut the music. Okay, so apparently she got herself into some hot water talking about um, her dancers. So let's talk about it. The dancers accused Lizzo, a performer known for embracing positive body positivity and celebrating her physique of calling attention to one dancer weight in later berating then firing that dancer after she recorded a meeting because of health conditions give, give, give me a little background music just give me these people a little something <clears throat> the suit does not say if lizzo knew about the allegation linked to the dance captain charlene quickly but the plaintiffs believe the singer was aware of their complaints about her according to their lawyer the suit names lizzo whose real name is melissa vivian Elaine Jefferson, her, her production company in Quigley as defendants, in addition to her accusations of hostile worker environment, sexual harassment, the suit brings claims for religious and racial harassment, false imprisonment, wow, interference with prospective economic advantage and other allegations. Not every claim has been brought against the defendant. Let's see which one it was. The stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performance seems to go against every Lizzo everything Lizzo stands for publicly while privately she weight chains weight chains her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only legal but are absolutely demoralizing the music. so those are some pretty heavy allegations actually uh, when you really look into them it seems that people were just going after her being fat shaming uh, her fat shaming and all that kind of stuff but this thing says imprisonment um, imprisonment racial harassment um claims against the religion um and inference for perspective economic advantage means being, being blacklisted and other allegations so Lizzo's some pretty hot stuff here um do i think this is gonna go all the way to court i don't i do think this is gonna get settled um there is two things that can be true these can be bitter employees who are mad that they got fired uh, but there can also be some truth that Lizzo is treating them unfairly. Even even if this captain is not necessarily associated with Lizzo, she's still part of the team. And it says that they think that Lizzo obviously knew about this stuff and she would have to. Lizzo is supposed to be so close to her big girls, right? You know, so I think it's I think it's just ironic that they would also go to say that they have been fat shamed by Lizzo herself. You know, if that is true, and I'm not saying it is, these are allegations. But if this is true, I would say this that Lizzo being a bigger person and being overweight as she is, I can totally see her going after somebody who is also overweight because us people, even I'm including myself into this, even after I've lost weight, still losing weight. There are times that in my life that as being a big person, I wanted to go after other big people. Why? Because I'm hurt, depressed, sad. When you're depressed, sad and all these kind of stuff, you tend to want to go after people and hurt them as well. Right. You, you Because you might say, Oh, I'm fat, but at least I'm fat and rich. Stuff like that. So I could see Lizzo being so hurt uh, and taking this opportunity to go after other big women because it's not that uh, when you don't like something about yourself, you tend to point it out in others. It's called projecting. If you've ever heard that. So let's listen to uh, Lizzo's side of the story here. Okay. DJ, can I get a little bit of music? Appreciate you. Lizzo broke her silence Thursday morning saying she's hurt as she dismissed the LXO allegations and hostile work environment allegations made by the former dancers in the lawsuit this week as unbelievable and outrageous. <clears throat> these last few days, this is Lizzo speaking, these last few days have been gut-wrenching, difficult, and overwhelmingly disappointing. The 35-year-old singer shared on Instagram after not NBA's NBC suit news was the first report on the lawsuit. My worth ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized, she said. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed, said Lizzo, whose real name is Melissa Vivian Jefferson. She dismissed the allegations made in the lawsuit, calling the accounts sensationalized stories, and said the former employees have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. Attorney Ron Zambrano, who is representing the former dancers who filed the lawsuit, said in a statement to NBC News Thursday, her denial of this reprehensible behavior only adds to our client's emotional distress. 
Lizzo has failed her own brand and has let down her fans. The dismissal comments and utter lack of empathy are quite telling about her character and only serve to minimize the trauma she has caused the plaintiffs and others. Thank you. We have come forward sharing their uh, own negative experiences. So, like I said, do I believe that Lizzo is a part of this? Of course I do. Do I believe everything is true? Of course I don't. Do I know the answer? Obviously not. Um, but I do think that Lizzo, and being a celebrity and being a businesswoman, um, as much as she didn't talk about it and stuff, she just wants to go about being a big girl and blah, 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 blah. She's just a sad little little girl who just wants to sing music. No, no, no. You don't make that much money to become that successful, successful just sitting there being fat and just living life and trying to sing. No, you're a, she's a talented woman, very gifted musically. Um, and I do think she is somewhat of a savvy businesswoman. She knows how to make money. She knows what to say to get the people riled up. Um, but I think behind the scenes, she's probably tough to deal with, um, just like a lot of celebrities are. People have heard these stories about a lot of celebrities um, that they're hard to deal with behind the scenes. Ellen DeGeneres being the biggest one um, that we saw a lot of allegations come out about. But, she, you know, this is just the world um, we live in. So I think... That Lizzo definitely did some of this stuff behind. I could definitely see her fat shaming. Um, I could definitely see her um, getting onto these girls and firing them. Um, but as far as the imprisonment and that kind of stuff, that is some pretty far stuff. I don't know if I could see Lizzo imprisoning these girls. I don't see Lizzo being like anything but just tough to deal with. Meaning I could see her being mean. I could see her being rude. But to the point where she would start imprisoning these people and start making religious and racial harassment, I don't know if I would go that far. Of course, I don't know. Um, so let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Lizzo would do something like this? I could see her doing some of it, but I, I definitely can't see her doing all of this. I don't think this will ever make the court. Um, these girls will probably just get a settlement, make a little bit of change and get on about their life. And I'm not saying that these girls are wrong. I'm not going to say that if they get a settlement that all this stuff was fake. I do think sometimes it comes down to money and some people don't want to go court. Because even if you go to court, going to court with Lizzo, with Lizzo's money, you don't really have a shot. The only way lawyers are really going to take this all the way to court is if they know that they have really good stuff on Lizzo and that they can win this case. And I don't see that being the um, case. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here. Goodbye.